Damn you! Your husband got my wife pregnant. What have you done? Pay compensations. On the day of our big event, the wedding, my brother uttered these shocking words. It was really just a moment of folly. Please, I beg you to pay compensations. My sister-in-law, Sarah, said this as she burst into tears. Caught off guard by this sudden turn of events, we looked at each other and began to laugh. My name is Lily. I'm a 32-year-old office worker. I wasn't exactly career-driven, but until I was 29, my life was all about work. But I met Kyle through a friend, and we've been dating for three years. I hadn't thought about marriage until. Let's get married. He said this out of the blue, and I found myself nodding without hesitation. Life is truly unpredictable. When we decided to get married, we first thought about what to do. Of course, we decided to tell our parents. We met Kyle's parents first. They seemed like nice people, and I felt we would get along well. The meeting with Kyle's parents went smoothly, but the problem was with my family. As the day approached for us to visit my family, I began to worry. My father is a typical businessman and my mother is a normal housewife. They're not strict, just normal parents in every good way. There's really no problem with them. The biggest problem for me was my brother. My brother is John, three years older than me, got married five years ago to a woman his age, Sarah. But they haven't had children yet, which is really none of our business. Our parents have never pressured them to have children. But Sarah's family seems to be very curious. Sometimes she'd say to me, You're not married yet, Lily, so these worries are foreign to you. You wouldn't understand. I'm jealous, really. I thought it was tiresome to be told so, but when I told my friend about it, she said. I thought you were just being sarcastic because you're not married. I had never thought of it that way, which surprised me. You think so? That's a bit of a stretch, isn't it? I'm not going to be the mean sister-in-law who thinks that way. I just laughed it off. My relationship with my sister-in-law was neither particularly close nor bad, just somewhere in between. However, I couldn't say the same about my real brother. In fact, I'm not sure he even liked me. He's always been a difficult person, always needing to feel superior to me. Ever since we were kids, he would constantly belittle me, saying I was bad at studying, unattractive to boys, and unloved by our parents. On the other hand, he would boast about himself. Claiming things like, I got a perfect score today, or, I received so many presents for my birthday, or, our parents love me more than you. He was always trying to one-up me in some way. But I knew the truth. His good test scores were from easy makeup tests or easy review tests, not from the real, important tests. He never showed the results of the important tests and often threw them in the trash, which I saw many times. As for the presents for his birthday, he would beg his classmates, even the cheap ones, and bring home a bunch of low-quality sweets. They were really just 10-cent candies. Regarding our parents' love, they didn't play favorites. They loved both of us equally. In a way, I always felt sorry for my brother. That's why I kept him at arm's length and lived my life maintaining a certain distance. Even after he joined the workforce, he ended up in a bad company. His salary barely increased, and the so-called bonuses were nothing more than pocket money. Unable to afford living on his own due to the low salary, he continued to live at our parents' house. Meanwhile, the company I joined wasn't a major corporation, but it was a decently sized, mid-level business. I received regular raises and substantial bonuses. It wasn't exactly the best company, but I would say it was all right. This seemed to hurt my brother's pride, 
and his sarcastic remarks towards me gradually intensified. No matter how much makeup you put on, your face is still unbearable to look at. While saying this, he once threw away all my makeup. You earn a good salary, so you have it easy. Since you're earning so much, give me some money. He would say this and then take money from my wallet right in front of me. Once, it even escalated into a huge fight because I was so angry. It was mentally exhausting to deal with that, so I decided to move out quickly and live on my own. Ten years have passed since then, and I haven't returned home except for New Year's. Five years ago, my brother got married, which made my visits to my family's home even more complicated and difficult. It was really painful to go there for the wedding greetings. I may be repeating myself, but my brother and his wife are really difficult to deal with. I emphasize this repeatedly to my fiancé, Kyle. Don't worry too much. Your brother may be difficult, but your parents are fine, right? We'll just thank them and say hello for bringing us together. I don't think anything weird is going to happen right off the bat. He's generally lighthearted and laughingly assured me that everything would be fine, but I was still worried. With such conversations, we arrived at my parents' house. Oh my, you've come such a long way to see us. My mother greeted us with a big smile. Good to see you. Good to see you. My father repeated the same words, smiling but seeming a bit tense. Perhaps it's a common thing for fathers with daughters. He must be happy about my marriage at this age, but maybe he's feeling a bit complicated inside. I couldn't help but give a wry smile. After introducing Kyle, we spent a pleasant time talking about trivial things like the wedding plans and the future. But then the moment I was dreading finally arrived. Ah. So my sister who missed her chance at marriage has finally returned home. My brother came home and his sarcasm was as usual. What's up? Aren't you supposed to be at work? Today is a weekday, and Kyle and I took the day off to visit my parents. Normally, my brother should be at work too. Actually, we chose a weekday to come back hoping to avoid my brother and his wife. They're living with our parents because they're short on money. So, a weekday was our only chance to avoid them. And yet, here he is, coming home in the middle of the day. How could I not be here when my little sister's fiancé is visiting our home? He replied with a smirk. I couldn't say it out loud, but I thought to myself, we really didn't need you here. The atmosphere in the room turned awkward. Sensing this, Kyle, with a big smile, stepped in. Nice to meet you, John. He greeted cheerfully. His expression was so refreshing. Isn't my fiancé just too cool? I can almost see a light shining behind him, with a forest in the background. He's like a walking healing effect. I was internally praising Kyle. My brother's face, strong-willed and prideful, seemed a bit tense. Maybe because Kyle's type is completely different from his. Throughout the visit, my brother seemed a bit overshadowed by Kyle's constant smiling. Then we heard from the entrance. I'm home. Hey, there. Is Lily here? My sister-in-law Sarah, my brother's wife, showed up unexpectedly. They should both be working, since they can't live on my brother's salary alone. So, what about their jobs? The sudden return of my brother and his wife left me and my parents stunned. Then, for some reason, my brother sat down right next to me. Why did he choose to sit there? And Sarah, oddly enough, sat next to Kyle. I couldn't make sense of it. What's with that face? In contrast to Kyle, who seemed like a breath of fresh air, my brother had this dark, unbearable smirk. I asked him what that smile was all about, and he said, Well, I'm just surprised someone actually decided to propose to you. 
And just like that, he hit me with another sarcastic remark right away. Huh? Uh... Hey, you. What's your name again? In our first meeting, and he's already disrespectful to my fiancé. When Kyle said his name. I see. Kyle. If you want to back out of marrying her, now's the time. Wait, John. What are you saying all of a sudden? You can see she's not much to look at, but marrying her would be a real regret. She's just hopeless and incompetent, you know? Hey. I tried to stop this kind of talk, but my brother wouldn't stop. You should back out before you regret marrying her. He blurted out. When I was about to retort, Kyle said. There's nothing to worry about. I think Lily is a wonderful woman. So I have to work hard not to get dumped by her. Then Kyle, with his refreshingly genuine smile, just melted away all the anger I felt towards my brother. Ah! He's truly soothing. Just like a refreshing breeze, my anger was blown away. Watching this scene, Sarah chimed in. Hmm. I heard her say. Kyle, right? You seem very kind. Where do you work? Uh... Well, I work at ABC Corporation. Oh. That's a decent company, isn't it? You must make a good salary, right? Hmm... I guess it's average. I think it's normal. What kind of conversation is this? My brother is one thing, but Sarah is another. It's strange to ask such things to someone you're meeting for the first time. Hey, Sarah. What is it, Lily? This is a very important matter in marriage. I ask these questions to make sure our dear father's daughter doesn't get involved with the wrong man. It's not unnecessary. We had already discussed these things before we decided to meet the parents. I wanted to say that it's obvious we would have talked about what kind of man he is, but I couldn't say that in front of him. So, all I could do was give a wry smile. As this was happening, Sarah suddenly wrapped her arm around Kyle's and leaned against him. Um, Sarah. What? I'm just trying to get along with my future brother-in-law. Don't be such a spoil sport. You're so noisy. No, no, that's definitely crossing the line. Hey, John. I thought my brother would react for sure, but to my surprise, he started drinking beer in the middle of the day. Hey. Why are you drinking in the middle of the day? Why? I'm just toasting my poor sister's unhappy marriage. Why would you toast something unhappy? This was just too much. My parents were just confused and didn't know how to deal with my difficult brother and his wife. My brother got drunk and Sarah made a pass at Kyle. Kyle, obviously uncomfortable, tried to push her away, but Sarah was relentless. I tried to pull her away from him. What a situation this was. I'm so sorry about my family. It's okay. It was more than I expected from what you told me. It must have been tough for you, Lily. As we walked away, I apologized to Kyle and he patted me gently on my head with a smile. He's so kind. Despite the drama at my family's house, things went smoothly and we finally reached our wedding day. Ah, I'm so nervous. In the bride's dressing room, I was the one feeling tense. Are you okay, Lily? I looked so pale and serious that my mother called Kyle, and now he's here with me. It's comforting. Kyle is gently holding my hand and encouraging me, he's such an incredible husband. Thanks to him, I was able to pull myself together and I was like, all right, let's do this. But then suddenly. Here I am. 
Big Brother has arrived. The door burst open with a loud bang, and my brother and his wife came in. It got noisy right away. I had a bad feeling. But my brother's act was even more outrageous than I could have imagined, and it made me dizzy. Now, John, be appropriate to the time and place. When my mother scolded my brother. Shut up. Can't you be quiet, mom? I have something to say to this man. And he was inexplicably confrontational. This man? When I looked at where my brother was pointing, he was pointing at Kyle, who was about to become my husband. Me? Kyle looked confused. Turning to me in surprise, my brother said, The man you're marrying today got my wife pregnant. What? I couldn't help but exclaim at this shocking revelation. We confirmed the pregnancy at the gynecologist. The timing of the pregnancy doesn't match when I could have been the father. In other words, Sarah cheated. Cheating aside, how do you conclude that Kyle is involved? That's what Sarah told me. What? I was too shocked to process this. I looked back and forth between Sarah and my husband in confusion. No, no. I don't remember anything like that and it's impossible. My husband hastily denied it, but at that moment Sarah, who had been huddled behind my brother, collapsed to the floor in tears. I'm sorry, Kyle. I told the truth about our relationship. What? Kyle exclaimed in surprise at her words. I'm really sorry, John. It was just a moment of stupidity. Now Sarah was apologizing to my brother, crying out loud. How dare you break up our marriage? Apologize and pay compensations. As he said this, my brother lunged at Kyle. My father and other relatives stepped in to stop him. The only sound in the room was my brother's heavy breathing and Sarah's sobbing. Kyle and I were stunned, but when we looked at each other, we couldn't help but laugh. Ha! <laughs> uh... <laughs> I started laughing first. Then, Kyle joined in, and once we started, we couldn't stop. Even with my perfect makeup, tears were streaming down my face as I laughed. Everyone around us looked at us as if to say, now what? What's so funny? Why are you laughing? My brother seemed irritated by our laughter. Well, you know, Kyle. Yeah, I know, Lily. With tears in our eyes, we looked at each other and started laughing again. How can you laugh in such a situation? Stop laughing and pay compensations. Seeing us laughing, Sarah got angry. But her demand for money when nothing had even happened was so ridiculous. This is just too funny. Let me tell you something, there's no way there could be a child between you and Kyle. Huh? Sarah still didn't seem to understand what I was saying. So I repeated, smiling. That's because it's impossible. We can't have children. What? What do you mean? What are you talking about? I wasn't sure if I should tell them, so I looked at Kyle, who nodded in agreement. I nodded back and turned to face my brother and Sarah. You see, Kyle has been found to have problems with his sperm, and it's impossible for us to have children naturally. There is a 0% chance of natural pregnancy. What? My brother was shocked at my statement. We had tests done at the hospital, so there's no mistake. If you don't believe me, I can show you the medical certificate. That's a lie. I am actually pregnant. Sarah said this in a panic tone. If this is true and you are really pregnant, then the father is not Kyle. If we wanted to have children with Kyle, 
we'd have to go through procedures like injections or drugs for in vitro fertilization. It's just not possible naturally. Eh. As I spoke, Sarah's face grew paler and paler. Then I glanced at John and saw that he looked very angry. Hey, Lily. Is this story true? It's true. Kyle himself answered my brother's question. If you still don't believe it, you can choose a hospital and we can get tested again. We can even hear the results together. Uh... No, that's not necessary. My brother seemed confused by Kyle's firm answer. Then John's eyes turned to Sarah. Eek. Hey, Sarah. What's this all about? You said you got pregnant by Kyle, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. Kyle contacted me, and then he made a pass at me. He had a scary vibe, and I couldn't say no. But it was just an affair. The only one I really love is you, John. That doesn't make any sense at all. Lily just said it's impossible for Kyle to father a child. Who exactly are you cheating with? That's, well, Kyle's lying. Sarah's story was too far-fetched. I was just stunned. No way, that's just impossible. Since the day Sarah and Kyle first met, we've been together almost every day. Busy with wedding preparations and planning our future life together. There was no time for any affair, was there? But you said you saw Kyle often during the day and on weekends, and each time you had an affair, right? Yes, that's right. Lily, why are you lying? No, no, Sarah, your lie is too much, isn't it? It seemed that Sarah was desperately trying to pin Kyle as her affair partner. Well, well. Can't you both calm down? Suddenly, my father intervened. His usual tone made me feel strangely relieved. But then he said something incredible. Since you're both cheating on each other, let's just call it even and leave it at that. Is even a really the right word to use in this situation? I couldn't help but wonder. Huh? 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 The confusion of three people in perfect unison. Wait a minute, Dad. What do you mean? You may not know this, Lily, but your mother and I, who live together with them, have known about this for a while. Huh? What? I was too shocked to understand when my father smiled at me in his usual way. Hey, Dad. Don't say such irresponsible things. What's irresponsible about it? It's the truth, isn't it? My father calmly responded to my agitated brother. At this point, it felt like a horror story. What do you mean by that? Sarah asked, and then my mother answered with a smile. Well, John has another woman he's been seeing. It seems that he often takes time off from work to meet her. They always meet right in front of our house, so there's no way we wouldn't notice. What? Sarah exclaimed in surprise. And Sarah, it's not good to meet a man like that at the nearby train station. We've heard a lot of sightings from the neighbors. What? This time, it was my brother who shouted in surprise. According to my parents, both had been seen by many neighbors, and the rumors had reached their ears. Simply put, both John and Sarah had been cheating. What a situation. Hey, Sarah. What's this about you cheating? What about you? You're cheating too, aren't you? I didn't get my partner pregnant. Well, I never plan to get pregnant either. What are you talking about? That's it, we're getting a divorce. I'm going to ask for compensations. What are you saying? You should be the one to pay me compensations. Ah. Uh.
This must be what they call a quagmire. While I was wondering how to solve this mess, my father suddenly snapped his fingers. At that moment, my uncles and various relatives came into the room, grabbed John and Sarah by the arms, and dragged them out. The disgraced couple argued and blamed each other. It was truly an embarrassing exit. Their voices faded as they were let out. I heard later that my uncle sternly scolded them and sent them home. There was an eerie silence in the room. I'm really sorry. I apologize to Kyle, my future husband. Aren't you disgusted to marry into a family like mine? That was my greatest fear. I was even ready to cancel the wedding. But then I felt warmth envelop me. Kyle hugged me. It's okay. I love you, Lily, no matter what happens. I promise I will protect you for the rest of my life. At his words, the tears just started to flow. I had cried a lot, so fixing my makeup was a challenge, but the professional skill was truly amazing. Despite the turmoil, I had the happiest wedding. As for John and Sarah, they eventually divorced. They were at an impasse and eventually went to court. It was another messy situation. Both had been unfaithful, but they blamed each other vehemently. In the end, neither paid compensations because both were at fault. It turned out that the child Sarah was carrying was not John's, so he wasn't responsible for child support. The father was apparently her married boss at work, and Sarah had quite a fight with him as well. Eventually, Sarah was dumped by her affair partner and taken back to her parents' house, almost dragged by them. A story of constant drama to the end. My parents sighed heavily as they recounted the ordeal. My brother ended up in his own mess because his affair partner was also married, and it seems that her husband was seeking compensations from him. John had no savings, so he asked our parents for help. But they were adamant, saying he brought it on himself, and they kicked him out of the house. I was there to witness this, and it was the first time I had ever seen my parents so stern. You've caused trouble for your sister Lily, neglected your job to fool around with your mistress. I don't care about a foolish son like you. Why should I clean up your mess? Get out of this house right now. With a fury that looked like he might kick him out physically, John was expelled from the house. It's terrifying how scary usually calm people can be when they're angry. I don't know what happened to him after that, but he was apparently fired from his job for neglecting his work to play around. How he's going to live from now on, I don't really care. The way he insulted my husband on our wedding day is something I can never forgive. I may not care about myself, but I cannot forgive anything against my husband. I'm head over heels in love with him. It's a happiness to spend my life with such a kind husband. And now, a new happiness is about to come into our home. I'm so excited to meet this little one. He says, gently stroking my belly where a little life is growing. After a challenging journey of fertility treatments, I'm finally pregnant. There will be more challenges ahead, but I'm sure we'll be fine. With my kind and wonderful husband and our beloved child, I'm sure we'll build a happy family.